showing you my lipstick collection as they are one of my favourite pieces of makeup to wear. I do have quite a few lipsticks, however I am going to be showing you them fairly quickly just so I don't bore you all. So here it is. So these are my top five lipsticks and the first one is by Kate Moss's collection for Ramel and it's in shade 107. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Um, please check out my other video if you want to see it to get them featured in that. The next one is by Chanel and this is in shade Rouge Alert. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous pinky tone and it's not too bright and it just looks very neutral. The next one is in the shade Mulberry and this is by number 7. I absolutely love this colour and I do tend to wear it quite a lot because it's great for, if you don't want anything too bright and too in your face, it's a great nudie pink colour. The next one is by Illamasqua and Unfortunately, this doesn't come with a shade or a number, which is very silly, but I absolutely love this colour and it is just, it's just gorgeous. The next one is by MAC and this is in shade Passioned. I absolutely love this colour because it's a great summery, summery colour. The next one is by Vital Radiance and this is in shade Classic Coral. I do love these colours, however they are very small so it does take quite some time to apply them. The next one is by the same brand but this is in shade Bear. I do love this colour though because it is a great nude colour and to be honest it's the best nude I think I've tried in quite some time. The next shade is, this is by MAC and this is in Mirroranged. This is a very gorgeous colour, uh, very bright. I don't wear this a lot only because it is quite bright. And the next one, this is another orangey colour, and this is in Vegas Vault. I do absolutely love this colour, It's this is more burnt out orange. I just absolutely love this, and it's very moisturised on your lips. The next one is by MAC again, and this is in Russian Red. I absolutely love MAC lipsticks, as... They just smell amazing. Now these two are by Chanel and the first one is in Rouge Coco. This is just a most, the most amazing red I think I've seen. It is a very, almost like a wine red. I love them and they've also got Chanel printed on the lipstick. I just think they're gorgeous. The next one is in Rouge Coco and this is another red but this is a more of a slightly red colour and this is in Gabrielle. It glides lovely on and it does make my lips feel moisturised all day. These ones are now by Yves Saint Laurent but unfortunately again these don't have any shades or any names so which I don't really get you'd think you Saint Laurent would do names but these don't have any so mm. but they are gorgeous colours and I have worn these quite a bit this is a red uh, the next one this is a very nice pink again perfect for summer and it is like a bright pink, so if you want a bright pink then this would be perfect. Now this one, this is more of a lighter pink. Um, I do love this, however it is a bit Barbie-like, which 
is it's great for some people but for me it's just not really for me um even though it does look like i've used so much of it however it is a nice pink the next one is um, a little mini one and this is in rouge pear and this is a tiny mini one by you saint laurent but this is a gorgeous shimmer shimmery color it looks great on and is perfect with a tan So the next one is by Estee Lauder. I absolutely love this, love the packaging. This is a really, really nice pink. And this is in shade Beautiful Pink. I really love this. Um, however, it has got a really, I'm not loving the scent. It's got a really lipstick. <laughs> this is going to sound complete crazy, but it's got a really lipstick scent. So it probably doesn't make any sense, but not loving the scent at all and the next one is by max factor and this is a flipstick it's got two lipsticks not loving this one um i love the fact it has got two lipsticks however they're very tiny and they do smudge so as soon as you put the lip the lid on they smudge everywhere hence the lid There's the first shade and then I flipped it over and that's the second shade. The next one is by NYC and this is in mauve gold. This is a beautiful colour, it's got a gorgeous shimmer. And when I apply this, it actually feels more like a lip gloss, very moisturised, uh, very glossy. The next one is by Wet n Wild and this is in Toffee Delight. And it does look exactly like toffee and it's gorgeous on. And this one also looks perfect with a tan. The next one is by Revlon and this is in shade Luzi Energizing. This is a really nice colour. It's a very deep dark colour. However, I haven't quite tried it enough to say much more. The next one is by Deluxe and this is in shade Speak Easy. This is a really nice pink. I just love the packaging on this. I love the way it shows the lipstick at the bottom. And this is also amazing for spring and summer. The next one is by Lipstick Queen. This is a really nice red. Um, this is great for a night out. However, it's very matte based. It's very, very matte. And it is quite a dry lipstick. However, it is a really nice red to wear day or night. Now, these are some NARS lip products. First one is a lipstick. And this is in shade Schnapp. This is another pink that I do love and I actually do want to be purchasing more NARS lipsticks because they're very nice, very nourishing and I just simply love the pink. Now the next one, these are two lip pencils. I did think I will include these because you do apply them on the lips and they are very close to a lipstick. The first one is a gorgeous red shade in Pop Light. And the next one is in shade Walk Fire. Now, these are quite blunt, so I haven't quite sharpened them yet because I can't actually find a sharpen, sharpener that is chunky enough to fit the pencil. So if you guys do know any great sharpeners for these, it'd be perfect if you could comment on them below. The next one, these are by Lancome. And the first one is a really gorgeous pinky tone and this is just in shade 6. 
These are really nice, very tiny, and they're also great for your handbag. The first one is in a, the Acopolips, and this is in Rosetto Liquid. Um, I do actually wear this one today. The next one is another Kate Moss lipstick, and this is in shade 110. It's a very nice bright orange. As you can see, I've used this one to death. I've had it for such a long time, so it does last a very long time. It's a really nice go-to red. It's the red I've literally worn all the time. Now these ones are just out of a set. The set's called Active. These do look really pretty colours. However, when you apply it, it does doesn't really show up and as you can see me rubbing quite hard on my hand now these ones are by Mark Wynn's collection these out of another set well these again look very nice however again does take some quite some time to apply them but they were in my collection, so I thought I'd show you. Did you really want to fight? I never knew you were a slam and door type. I guess that's just another thing you didn't feel a need to share. Well, so enjoyed it if you did then please give it a thumbs up and also if there is any other kind of collection you'd like to see then please don't forget to comment below so that's it and i shall see you in the next video bye guys